That's what John saw it. I'm Karin. The last year I gave birth to my first child. Karin! Great job, honey! You did great! Thanks. Well done. Congrats! She's adorable! I'm sorry I couldn't help out as much while you were pregnant. I was just so busy with work and- Oh, don't worry about it. You did plenty to help. My parents were very excited. It was their first grandchild, so my dad was obsessed with him. Aw, so cute! Oh, you. Present day. Dad. Yuzaria! Happy birthday! Dad, I told you that's enough. You already got her a present. But I thought she'd really like this. Yuzaria, you're so adorable. You're the prettiest baby in the world. But you got her toys last week, too. We already got enough stuff as is. Yeah. Told you. I appreciate the thought, but no more toys for a while, okay? What? Hey, now, don't feel so sad. Want some cake? Let's eat. Then one day... What? Is he okay? What happened? Yeah. Last weekend, he hit his head pretty hard. He's fine, but he's not young anymore, so the doctor asked him to stay in the hospital for a few days, just in case. What happened exactly? On Yuzuria's birthday, after you told him no more toys, he was like... Kari says I can't get her any more toys! But I still want to do something for her! But she's right, her house isn't even that big! Wait, I know! I'm gonna build a swing set out in the backyard! What? I made one for you and your sister when you were kids! I'm gonna fix it up and make a new one! But Yuzuria's only a year old, she can barely walk yet. Don't you think it's a bit too early? Kids grow up super fast! I gotta get started right away! And... Grandpa, this is amazing! You're my hero! <laughs> I know, right? I'll do anything for you, Yuzuri, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go out to the store and get a few things! Wait! So yeah, I tried to stop him, but you know how he is. So we started making this new swing set. Oh. Back in the days, my grandfather used to grow vegetables out in the backyard. After he passed away, nobody really used the farm anymore. So my dad built us a swing set. Yuri and I used to play with it all the time. But then, while he was working on it, he <laughs> fell and... I told him to stop, but... He's gonna be fine, right? Yeah, he'll be back home in a week or so. Yuri works from home, so she helps me out with things around the house. We'll be fine. Uh, huh? Uh, good to hear. Why the long face? Is something on your mind? Huh. What's going on here? You'll see in a minute. Huh? A few minutes later. Huh? Then? No way! What's all the commotion? Are you serious? Yeah! <laughs> what the? What are they doing in our yard? Mom, I'm home. Hey, honey. Can we play? Sure, be careful. So then guess what happened? <sighs> but it's not even finished! These kids I'd never seen before were playing out in our backyard. The swing set wasn't even finished, but they didn't seem to care. And their moms, they didn't seem to mind either. Mom, what is this? The landlord who owns a few properties in the neighborhood. He recently passed away and his family sold the land. Then these young people started moving in and they all got little kids in kindergarten. And for some reason, the kindergarten bus stops right in front of our house. What? Did you talk to them? Yeah, but... Then... No way! Excuse me? This is private property. Can you take this elsewhere? What? But this is a bus stop. We're waiting for the bus. Yeah, I don't see any fences around here. How are you supposed to know where the line is? You're telling us to wait out on the road? What if our kids get hit by a car or something? Uh, I guess you can wait for the bus, but... Could you tell your kids to keep it down? I work from home, so I need some quiet... Why? Well, they're just playing. They're kids. Leave them alone. Uh, ouch! Ouch! You okay? Hey, what is this thing? It looks dangerous. What? My father's working on that, and he's making it for his granddaughter. It's not even finished, and like I said, this is private property. You shouldn't be letting your son play there in the first place. What is your problem? You got a problem with kids or something? They're the future. Yeah, kids are the future of our country. Yeah, let them play. Leave them alone. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't know what else to say. 
when your father was here, it wasn't this bad, but now they're out of control. So yeah, that's what happened. I see. Your mom and Yuri, they're way too nice. Is there anything we can do? What kindergarten do their kids go to? Can you find out? I think so. I saw the name of the kindergarten on the bus. Then maybe they should talk to the kindergarten. Why does the bus stop in front of their house to begin with, you know? True. Can I do anything to help? Oh, it's okay. I'll handle it. I know how busy you've been with work, so... Okay. Well, if you need anything, let me know. Okay. A few days later. Hello? Hurry, help! No! Yuri, what's going on? This morning, those people were waiting for the bus as usual, and one of them had a dog, and it pooped on our yard. What? That's it. I decided to take action. My mom and I headed to the kindergarten to have a talk with the owner. I see. We've had enough! Do something about this! But these kids you're talking about, are you sure that there are students? You may not know this, but this is a private kindergarten for elites, and our students are very well behaved. I don't think they do this. Even their parents have to pass the interview if they want to send their children here, so I don't think they would. But they're bothering my family! And as for the bus stop, we got permission from your husband. See? What? Look, if you really want, I can try to talk to them. All right? What? Again, this place is for elites only, so I'm pretty sure you got the wrong people. Ugh, what a jerk. Do you think it'll get better? No, he's not going to do anything. And that permission slip, how did that happen? My mom asked my dad about the permission slip a few days later. I don't know. I don't think I signed anything, but I don't know. Maybe I did. I can't remember. He wasn't sure, and things didn't change one bit. Just as I expected, these people were out of control. Apparently the principal talked to them, but nothing has changed. Oh, I see. All right, let me handle this. What? Your father. He's building the swing set for Yuzuriha, right? I don't want them breaking it or anything, so no worries. I got this, okay? Okay. A week later. Ugh, what do you want now? Sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Katsura. Here's my card. What the? I'm Miss Tsutsuji's son-in-law. During the day, I worked as an attorney. My husband was a lawyer. He was always busy with work, so I didn't want to get him involved, but he wanted to help. Sorry about this. It's okay. Things at work settled down a bit. So, anyways, I'm here today as a concerned family member, not as a lawyer. So please, try to relax. Oh, okay. So, about the bus stop. You said you got permission from my father-in-law. How did that happen exactly? Well, the bus stop used to be near the grocery store, but some of the parents started complaining that it was too far away. They wanted us to move it to their neighborhood, but since it was a residential area, we needed to get permission from all the residents in the area. So you went and collected the signatures yourself? I was planning to, but... Signatures? Oh, no worry, we'll handle it. What? But... It's okay, really, it's the least we can do. So we just need a signature here, right? Yeah. So yeah, some of the parents volunteered. I see. May I see the documents? The date here. What is it? It's Yuzuriha's birthday. You're right. Wait, hold on! Dad was at our house that day. Yeah, he wasn't even home that day. What did you guys do after you got home? We went out to dinner on our way home. It was already dark out when we got back, so we went to sleep. So wait, he never signed this. I'll try and talk to the parents who volunteered. Hold on. A few minutes later, those two women showed up. So can you tell us what happened? What do you mean? He told us to get his signature, so we did. There's nothing else to explain. But that day, nobody was home. Yeah, and now that I look at it, this isn't your father's handwriting. There's a nameplate outside the house, so it's not difficult to find out the name of the resident. And I've seen his signature too. This isn't it. If someone forged his signature, that's against the law. What? You said it was going to be fine. I didn't know it was illegal. Just keep quiet. We'll be fine. The document is invalid. That means you have to move the bus stop. But, hey, um, maybe you can ask for their permission right now. Uh, um, listen, if it's okay with you, can we- Absolutely not. What? These people are out of control. My family tried talking to them, but they don't listen. The answer is no. Out of control? What do you mean? She's lying. She's just making things up. She doesn't have any proof. Take a look here. What the? When I talked to Katra about this the other day. For starters, we need some evidence. Evidence? I hate to ask your family for this, but we're going to have to set up some cameras around the house and film them for a few days. 
Then we can use that against them. So the next day, we went to their house and set up a bunch of hidden cameras. We videotaped them for a few days. What the? You can't film us like this! This is illegal! Actually, it's not. This is private property, and we set this up for security purposes. So this is totally legal. Trust me, we weren't trying to film you on purpose or anything. And from what I hear, you guys have been doing this for months now. You do realize this is trespassing, right? You can get up to three years in prison, or a fine of up to a thousand dollars. You also broke private property and let your dog defecate. That's damage to private property. And for that, you can get up to- Hold on, wait! Are you saying you're gonna press charges? No, like I said, I'm here today as a concerned family member. So no, I'm not planning to press charges today, but I can always come back next time as their lawyer. It's up to you, really. All right, we'll move the bus stop. What? You'll just have to use the bus stop next to the grocery store from now on. What? But that's like a 20 minute walk. Yeah, it's way too far. Sir, please. That's enough. Do you realize what you've done? You forged someone's signature and trespassed on private property! You broke the law! And you hurt our reputation! This is a prestigious kindergarten. I can't have this thing going to trial. And if you guys do anything like this again, your children are not welcome here anymore! What? But we didn't do anything wrong! This isn't fair! And so they moved the bus stop to its original location. We also set up new fences around the house. Finally, peace at last. And my dad, he was let go from the hospital. Yuzuria! I'm back! Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, these people were causing us a headache. Wait, I know! If they want to play in our yard, let them! We can charge them for tickets! Kids can play, and I can make some money on the side! It's a win-win! Tickets? I don't know. I think that's illegal. What? How many times do I have to tell you this? Huh? Stop letting your kids play here! You're bothering the other customers. And this is a parking lot. It's not safe. But they're just kids. Let them be. That's it. I've had enough. I'm calling the kindergarten. No, no wait. wait. Please. Please don't. Please. <sighs> uh, some people never learn. Looks fun. You're such a good swimmer, Yuzuria. I'm home. I got some watermelons. Yay. Come on, let's eat. Watermelon. Yuzuriha, looks like she's having fun. Yeah. Hey, I know! During winter, I'm gonna gather all the snow in the area and make a little ski slope! <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> ah. Anyways, it was a rough couple of months, but glad everything worked out.子供たちのことを思うなら共有スペースだとか遊び場所があるのはいいことかもしれません皆さんはどう感じましたかコメント欄に書いていただけると嬉しいです。また少しでもスカッとした方、チャンネル登録と高評価をお願いいたします。